This exciting restoration is a massive job which will test the talents of the whole team. Clock specialist Steve has also called in Dominic Chania for his metalworking skills. So, Richard, could you tell us anything about the history of the clock? So, the clock was purchased by the villagers in 1911 to celebrate the coronation of George V. All oh, right, OK. It sits on what is now a residential property, but was, at the time, the National School. OK. Up until the late 80s, it was mechanical. And then they converted it to um, a quartz battery. So it's just this little unit here. It's better if I put a battery unit where the we... village folk can get to it. Easily serviced, yeah. yeah. I just want to get this main steel drum it's stripped bare, get it, take it away to get it sandblasted. Now what I'm doing is I'm cleaning it up with some polymer polish and a bit of um, very, very fine wire wool. The difficulty is avoiding all the, the black paint work so I don't rub that off. It's taking time. I can only do a small uh, area at a time uh, because I've got to really, really take care that I've, I'm protecting every little bit of it. I'm going to polish the brass up, lacquer it, and um, set against the black of the... Uh, the rest of the case of the, the clock, it's going to look absolutely spectacular, the way it was probably when it was new. So this has come up really, really well. We went through about 10 layers of paint and, and lacquer before getting through to this surface, and that'll lacquer up really well now. It's a huge team effort to ensure this clock lasts another 100 years. It's definitely going to be future-proof. Absolutely. This is made out of an old broom handle. Uh, it's for plugging into uh, where the battery was, where the battery should go. And then this battery compartment will be down the bottom of the clock so that anyone can change the battery without trying to reach up uh, into, and uh, putting a battery in there, which will make it a lot easier for them. With the wooden frame complete, now comes the challenge of positioning it correctly within the drum. Point your fingers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lovely paintwork, they <laughs> love the yeah, paintwork. <laughs> Moment of truth. It's the final countdown for the clock. Wow. Oh, my God, it looks brilliant. In readiness for its return to the village of Coates in the Cotswolds. Don't go dropping it. <laughs> I think the village are going to be really, really happy with this. That is amazing. Wow, the face of the, of the clock is incredible. They have done an amazing job. <laughs> yeah, last time this was on, stuck on with something like gaffer tape. When the clock arrived at the repair shop, it was in a sorry state. Now, it looks positively stately.